Hi all, I'm going to teach you a few things about the Dyson V10 that you probably don't know. Uh, anyway, it took me a lot of time to understand how it works and now I will explain how this works. First of all, you have many video how to disassemble uh, all this device so you can watch them. After disassembling, of course, this is the motor. This is the handle. In the handle you have two wires that are going from the battery. This is for sure you know it. And it's go from here inside. But there are additional two connections here somewhere. And these two connections getting to this wire, the black and the red. So you're probably asking yourself what are these wires. So I will explain. This is a thermal protection from the battery, which enable to stop the device if something is wrong. This is the first thing that you probably don't know. The second thing is after taking the motor and disassemble it, I found that there are interesting things. Of course, this is the input directly from the battery. Now the battery is going, uh, it's working in this way. You have a button and when you press in mechanically on the button so the power is going out from these uh, two connectors and again this is the thermal protection that is going uh, to the tiny uh, wires that I showed and from the tiny wires it is connected to this connector here which is a uh, J8 on this uh, V10 uh, Dyson. Another thing is you're probably asking yourself how this works. This is the power of the Dyson. You have a uh, three power, you have minimum and then you have medium and then max. So how this is working? So I'm not sure but I think that I know how it works. I guess that the two chips here are whole sensor and you have probably a magnet. I'm not sure but I'm almost sure that it should work like this. So you have a magnet and the magnet is moving and the magnet is moving between the, those two tiny chips. So if it is sensing here it's probably a minimum between uh, the two whole effects is the medium and the other side is the maximum. Almost sure about it. The other thing is what is this connector? So this connector is also power. This is power out. Is it going to the accessories? For example, you have the handle with the motors and the short or the long and the motor is spinning. So the motor gets its power from this connector. Uh, Another thing is that you have uh, on the filter itself, you have two, uh, two magnets or two, yeah, two magnets here and just if it is closed, so it will work. So there are probably additional two whole effect sensor on the other side of this board. Let's take it out. I will show you how to take it out first. You press this plug, it go out very easily. And then gently with a screwdriver, be careful not to break anything because it's a little tricky to take it out because it's stuck with the rubber here. But, ah, okay. But what, you need to go over the rubber from the internal side and then all the motor goes out ah, just like this. And now you must be thinking why it is not spinning. So this is not spinning of course. Uh, I guess this is a three phase motor. The rotating part is just here inside. So you need to take this off in order to see the rotating part. And this is just a tiny rotating 
a metal that is spinning, a, a plastic that is doing all the suction, the power suction. In this device I have a few problems and I have a blinking a filter on the battery and it is not filter. So I'm still searching but uh, I am sure that it is a motor problem. Now here I am searching for the whole effect sensor so probably I guess ah, it's very hard to see but maybe those two tiny chips on the sides are the whole effect is uh, it are catching uh, the filter and knowing if the filter is inside uh, other than this I don't know why this device is doing what it is doing and in order to continue to disassemble it probably I need to desolder these two contact of the coil I'm sure that this is the coils but I have only two coils and I need to have at least three cords of the motor so maybe one of them is on the other side I'm not sure but let's check that these are coils I'm, I'm almost sure it, it should be a coil if it is short so it is a coil of course yeah so these are two coils of the motor and there should be another one so these are the things that I want to show you uh, another thing about the battery contact you you don't have really a switch so the power is going just mechanically when you press it and this is because you want to uh, be most efficient and not to uh, lose power on wires so all the the power MOSFET to stop it are inside the battery and it just get direct uh, power to those connectors and this is how it works so hope you enjoyed thank you and bye